T-minus 60 seconds. Range green. AFSS flight enabled. APU's running. T minus 30 seconds. GS1 at flight level. GS2 at flight level. Big water start. <laughs> That's a big water command. There's a water deluge. Here we go, New Glenn. It's time to do this. Let's light this candle. Autopilot enabled. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Lift off. <laughs> All seven engines at full thrust. Chicken for pressures are good. Vehicles clear the tower. Now passing 18 seconds into flight. Engine chamber pressures look good. 27 seconds in, vehicles. Now begun the pitch roll maneuver to point down range. Body rate response are nominal. Chamber pressures continue to look good. Now 40 seconds into flight. Oh my god! <laughs> End of roll, straight to now level. Chamber pressures continue to look good. 50 seconds in. Data quality looks good coming down from the vehicle. Chamber pressures continue to look nominal. One minute into flight. All seven engines continue to look good on the first stage. Data quality is good coming down from the vehicle. Body rate response are nominal. One minute, 15 seconds into flight. As we build a road to space for the benefit of Earth. Profile looks good. Well, now passing 1 minute 30 seconds into flight, passing Mach 1, New Glenn is now supersonic. Engines continue to perform well, now passing through Max 2, maximum dynamic pressure. Body rate responses are nominal throughout the boost phase. Data quality continues to look good, chamber pressure is looking good, all set in. through Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure, the toughest part of the flight on that vehicle, we have punched through it, the and New Blend continues its ascent to space. look good on all seven B4 engines. Acceleration profile is good, body rates look good. One minute to Miko. B3U, well he's too chillin' started. B4s continue to perform well throughout the boost phase. Now passing 2 minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Trajectory is nominal. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Approximately 30 seconds remaining in boost phase. And here we are, coming up on Nico. On main minutes. engine cut off. Let's stand by for that. Can you look good? Stage 2, RCS priming. Now passing three minutes. And we have Miko. We have stage set. And we have ignition on both BE3U's chamber pressure is good. Now passing three minutes, 40 seconds into flight. Body rates look good. Data quality coming down from both stages. Looks good. GS2 performing a pitch up maneuver. Body rate response is nominal. BE3U chamber pressure continues to look good. We have good payload fairing jettison.
separation confirmed of the well two stages. Tank pressures are within their limits. Stage two is now continuing its launch and flight. It up into Mio. Now passing four minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Our booster is going to try to make a landing. Less than three minutes you now remaining. You see the to landing test. target launch out there in the ocean. We are going to four land minutes, on the Jacqueline, the landing ship to look good. that Pirate is awaiting no, this beautiful no, booster to good. make a landing. GS2 bottles look good. Directory looks good on both stages. Four minutes, 50 seconds into flight. Now passing five minutes, 10 seconds into flight. Thrust on both BE3Us continues to look good. Five minutes, 20 seconds in. Less than two minutes now remaining to GS1 engine ignition. Thank you again, everybody, for GS1 joining us for New Glenn's first launch to space. So far, five minutes and 30 seconds into launch. Everything continues to be nominal. A clean separation of stage one from stage two. Stage one, our booster. We are looking to land it on our landing ship, Jacqueline. There you see its targeted landing spot where the feather is there. And stage two carrying the Pathfinder for Blue Ring will continue its mission up towards Mio orbit where we will be collecting data for six hours. But let's continue to watch here as the two vehicles continue on their way. Good, both be three use. Confirm GS-1 engine chill active. Less than one minute now remaining to exo atmospheric engine ignition. Six minutes, 30 seconds into flight. So coming up here, we're gonna see the middle of the three seven BE-4 engines on, on the booster light up. Good. Chamber pressures on both the E3 This is going continue. to slow the, the vehicle burn. down, and then as the vehicle gets closer to the landing ship, the Jacqueline, the two outer of the three middle engines will shut off, and just one in the center will remain to help slow Fire as well as guide the vehicle GS4. back to the landing ship. As flight. you've also seen on, on the GS4. booster vehicle, we have the steering fins at the top of the booster, as well as the strakes, which act essentially as wings. This vehicle is flying back to the Jacqueline, providing lift to come in for a nice, soft, and vertical landing onto the landing ship, the Jacqueline. So you can get chamber pressures on both the E3Us. All three engines relight confirmed. Body rates look good on GS2. Continuing through its planned burn. Now seven minutes, 45 seconds in. Seeing good MR response on the V3U engines, seeing good throttle profile. Chamber pressures continue to look good throughout the burn. Eight minutes, 20 seconds into flight. GS2 tank pressures staying within their acceptable limits. Body rate responses look good. Chamber pressures look good throughout the burn. Eight minutes, 40 seconds in. Now passing nine minutes into flight. 
continue to see data from both stages. GS2 data quality continues to look good throughout the burn cha chamber pressures, both engines staying very close to each other. GS2 trajectory is nominal. Less than three minutes now remaining in the GS2 burn. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us. Wow, what a moment so far. We obviously have some uh, frozen data here on our stage one, on our booster. We're still waiting to understand uh, what the situation is with the booster. Meanwhile, our second stage, GS2, continues 10 minutes, 20 seconds its the ascent as well as, as its climb towards uh, Mio, which is where it is headed this evening. We are still waiting. You see good throttle response Again, on both our feet, first prim our primary objective, Body getting range, to orbit uh, safely. Let's stand by here. Tank pressure is staying within acceptable limits. Bottle pressures look good. Data quality continues to look good throughout the GS2 burn. Eleven minutes, ten seconds into flight. GS2 is now one thousand seven hundred kilometers downrange, traveling at six point seven kilometers per second. Data looks good, coming down from Tindris. Both BE3Us continue to look good, tracking nicely in chamber pressure. Body rate responses are stable. 12 minutes, 10 seconds into flight. We have IAP vanish. GS2 is now orbital. And we have engine cut off. Body rates look good following engine cut off. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us. Seco, we shut off the, we cut off the engines on the second stage. What does that mean? That means that we hit our key, critical, number one objective. We got to orbit safely. Congratulations. Blue Origin, y'all have gone orbital. What a day. We see our team down in Huntsville, our team's in Kent. I know the team out at Card Park down here in Florida, they are all losing their minds. Congratulations, everybody. What a day. We are in space. We've got our Blue Ring Pathfinder ready to warm up ready to start drawing in all of that great information. What a day.